Hi guys, this is Kristen. Just a warning, I'm very bad at handhold camera filming. So yeah, hope nobody feels too motion sick. Enjoy the video. Hi guys, this is Kristen and I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the Yellow Paper House studio and show you where we make all of our books and things. So let me turn the camera around and we will start with where we print everything. Okay, so this is the office. So if you look over to this side, ooh, oh, okay. I gotta back up a little. We have a little shelf unit where we keep some pre-made stuff and some pulled colorways. So we've got some brush lettering guides, coloring books, um, art books. Right now it's not totally full, but um, sometimes it is. It depends on how much time we have to pull extra stuff. Colorways. Then over here we have paper we use for covers. We have certain art papers that are, um, you know, pulled out and then our color chart <clears throat> we have paper for covers and then we have all the paper that we use to print all of our different colorways then over here we have our two printers which my mom is currently out right now looking at printers she um we're actually looking to possibly get a contract to get a giant printer so that would be amazing it'd be so good but this is the computer we print everything at. The, sorry, the desk is a little messy right at the moment. Here's some orders I'm working on. Okay, this is our shipping desk, so our scale, and then all of our shipping supplies, post office bins, more pre-made things. This is our bathroom. <laughs> Okay, and then this is our main shop area where we make everything. We have dog bowl, more paper, window. This is our, um, this is our stapler. So you put the paper in the front, goes through. See, it has two staple heads on it. You can move them so that they're closer together or farther apart. Um, you can have it staple, fold, what have you, and then they pop out the back. Um, let's see, okay. So we do that and then we bring them over here and then over here, oh, this is our other staple uh, machine. So this is our old one that, it, it does a lot of things. Oh, if you can hear the dog, he's having a fit. This is Wilson, say hi Wilson. He's like not having it. He's like, ugh, where's mommy? Okay, so this was our old stable machine, which right now it's on this thing because it's super, super heavy. And right now we just use the stable art books because we don't trust it to stable anything else and we don't trust the new one to stable through the art books. <laughs> um, here is our old manual cutter. We used to use this for everything. It took a long, long time to cut everything with this. We've had four of these, I think. So, okay. This is our cute art. Anyway, this is a table and the paper cutter that I cut at. And this is our electric paper cutter. I put my scraps there. This is my favorite ruler ever. It's got a pom-pom on it so I don't lose it. And then this, well right now it's got a bunch of stuff on it, but these are our backdrops where we can take photos. It's so funny because I think sometimes people think that all these people have like really rustic wood tables and things like that when they see on Instagram and really they're just vinyl backdrops that you can buy from like photography supply stores. <laughs> Uh, my recycling bag is under there. The dog's leash to let him outside, back door. This is our calendar. Right now it's pretty empty. Um, yeah. 
Oh, okay, and then this is the tables in the middle where we pack up. So this is one of our two corner rounders. We have a long reach stapler just in case you need to restaple something. Clips, tape, belly bands. These are a mess. <laughs> uh, thank you notes. Where I sit. More belly bands and thank you notes. Another corner rounder. Tape. Okay, and then over here, ooh, more art. Then I have this little shelf that has a bunch of crap on it. Mostly notebooks. My bag. This looks like a drill press. And it pretty much is a drill press, only instead of having a drill bit, I can turn this light on. It has this little thing, and that's what punches the holes in our planner paper. So yeah. So it's kind of scary. Can you hear it? It sounds just like a drill press. So, okay, then we have this shelf. So this looks unorganized, but it's actually pretty organized. Um, I use those boxes to keep orders in for like throughout the process. Those right now are all of our dud and like seconds books that we're waiting till we have more of them so we can just have a big sale. This is what we used to use to punch the holes in all of the Filofax paper. That's really funny when you compare it to this giant thing. Anyway, <laughs> excuse me. We have cardboard, we have cellophane bags in different sizes, um, more product. A lot of this is extra product that we just have to sell. Um, yeah, and then, okay, cardboard for when we pack phyllo paper. And then a bunch of random stuff up there. More dud books that need to be cut. And yeah, pens, things like that. Our really cute paper chase calendar. What's funny is I actually think this month I don't like it very much. But there's some really cute ones in here. So I'm excited for that. I painted this of our logo. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can't figure out. Okay, then we do have more art. So a lot of this art that we have hanging up is from this paper chase calendar from earlier in the year. That one over there too. And then we recently got this really cute giraffe from Home Goods. I thought he was so cute. I was like, we have to get him. And then this is actually <coughs> a photograph my dad took of Wilson when he was a little puppy. Right, Wilson? He kind of just tends to sit here all day and sleeps all day while we work. I wish he could help us work. That would be very nice. <laughs> right, Will? He probably... Yeah, you cute boy? No? He's like, whatever. Okay, so let me turn this around one more time. Okay, so yeah, that was our studio tour, and yeah, that's about it. It's a little messy today. It's a little weird, but uh, mm -hmm. and hi, if you've never seen my face, uh, I don't think I've shown it on YouTube yet, so yeah, first time for everything. So yeah, I hope to make more videos in the future and I will see you guys in the next one.